Dr. Legras explains the procedure. This is a catheter, and what this is, there's little electrodes on the end that are just a piece of metal that when it goes inside the heart, touches the inside, and will basically be doing an EKG from inside the heart. All these signals can be recorded and stored, and then we can look at them later on. We can do an instant replay, and we can look at the heart uh, in action in an electrical sense. And you can see that it's very soft. I can push it, and it's a very soft material. And I'm going to thread it into the vein. And I'm going to look at the heart. And the catheter is going to be moved inside the heart. In an adjacent room, a technologist records the basic electrical signals of the heart. At the direction of Dr. Legras, this technologist delivers electrical charges to the heart to induce the patient's arrhythmia. What pacing on the heart is, is um, one of these catheters is hooked up to a pacemaker. And what that is, is it's a little electrical impulse that speeds up the heart. And that mimics the heart's own electrical beats. And um, the patient is asleep during all this, but even if they were awake, people can't feel pacing. They don't feel a little shock. What they feel is their heart speeds up, and a lot of the time they can't even tell that the heart is being paced. These signals are very important to us, and they give us a lot of information. It may look kind of strange and hard to understand, but it has a lot of meaning to us. Okay, that's tachycardia there. So right now she's in the rapid heart rhythm, and what we're doing is we're doing some pacing maneuvers to evaluate what kind it is, if there's more than one, and you can see Tim just paced her out of the tachycardia, it took about a fraction of a second, and she's now back in a normal rhythm. And now we know that indeed this person does have the rapid heart rhythm, and so we're going to go on to the therapeutic part of the procedure now. Careful review of the information recorded by the computer tells Dr. Legras where inside the heart tissue needs to be ablated or burned away. Dr. Legras uses a specialized catheter. I'm going to use it to map the heart. Um, it's got a curve that I can adjust from the outside of the body. And the tip of the catheter, you can see, is different than the rest of the catheter. And this is where the cautery energy will be put in, and it'll put a little tiny burn in the heart. Now, the size of the burn is a fraction of the size of the tip. It's probably about two millimeters wide by two millimeters deep. So you can think of it as maybe two hairs in width and depth. The tiny tip of this catheter also contains a sophisticated device called a thermistor, which is connected to the computer. It precisely controls the temperature and the amount of power delivered to the site of the ablation. Dr. Legras uses electrical signals and images to place the catheter in the proper okay. location in the heart. Come on. I've mapped a spot that looks very good here. Again, careful testing and analysis of the signals from the heart confirm the ablation has worked. The tissue causing the arrhythmia is gone and this procedure is completed.